All new at five tonight, an accused serial shooter is in jail. Jamin Tolliver faces one attempted murder charge and two counts of murder. Now his arrest comes after detectives linked shell casings recovered from the scene to a gun that was found in Tolliver's home. Alex Ositis is on your side. He's live tonight at the state attorney's office with the latest on this case. Alex. Heather, now this case is in the hands of state prosecutors, but this is that suspect now behind bars accused of not just one murder, but two within 10 days. Scenes from across Jacksonville, January 25th, February 1st and 6th, now linked according to court records. An arrest warrant obtained by First Coast News details JSO's investigation into 21-year-old Jermaine Lamar Tolliver. In the course of just 13 days, the same gun had been used in three separate violent shooting incidents. The scenes January 25th as a man was gunned down in the street in Durkeyville. Less than a week later, Tolliver's name appears again on police reports. This time, a man found shot in the street. The suspect caught on real-time crime cameras, according to the arrest warrant, then rummaging through the victim's pocket. Tolliver facing an armed robbery charge for that. Then, February 6th, when a man was found shot and killed inside his home on West 23rd Street. Tolliver was interviewed by detectives in March when he admitted to buying a gun and was later determined to be a match to shell casings recovered. JSO explaining in a press conference Wednesday. These would be three separate cases with no witness statements, no eyewitnesses, some, sometimes not even a call to police that the event had occurred. Uh, we were able to link these cases together very quickly. Culver in Duval County Jail tonight. He'll be in court tomorrow. Now coming up tonight at 6, the technology used by detectives to help link all these cases. I'll have that coming up in just a little bit. We're live downtown. Now it's the side is First Coast News on your side.